Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Mike from Mike's Weather Page, and this is Little Hunter. <laughs> We're going to do our little tropical update, weather update. Uh, appreciate you subscribing. Our YouTube channel's growing, so uh, appreciate that. We're going to keep it going through the wintertime, springtime, and, of course, hurricane season. But we do have a little something to talk about in the tropics, Hunter. All right, you go back to bed. <laughs> I'm going to show everybody what's cooking. So right above me is current satellite. Man, look at that bubble, 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 man. Jimmy Buffett would be proud, right? Uh, we got this new little spot, man. It's up to uh, 60% already. It's leftover Julia. What What is really wild, I'll show you here in a second. Um, uh, this has actually been broken up. It's It's got part of Julia in it. The next name would be Carl. And it looks like Carl could be Foreman. Check out this satellite imagery. Holy cow, man. It's uh, really getting it on this morning. Uh, so we're going to keep an eye on it. The, uh, the good news is the models are very confident this thing is going to stay down in the Bay of Campeche without any impacts to the United States. Uh, very high confidence, very high confidence. So could be a Mexico problem, could actually strengthen possibly into a hurricane if this uh, persistent convection keeps up. So we're watching it close. The models aren't showing that much development, but these are the type of systems that you watch in real time. And uh, it could be sneaky. Uh, here are some of the latest tracks. These are just starting to come out. Um, basically, uh, it's running into a very strong uh, subtropical jet stream here that's going to pretty much squash any chances, and it's actually going to come back south. Uh, very high confidence of that. So we'll keep an eye on it, but that's the models. Here's some of the latest on tropical tidbits. These are your GFS ensembles. It goes up and comes back. Uh, Canadian ensembles up, comes back. <laughs> the... Uh, GF or uh, this is the European actually these are long range don't worry about these things but uh, focus on invest 93 here goes up comes back so that's what we got here's here's a precipital water map I find this very fascinating so the precipital water map is the amount of moisture in the air you can see spin really well this is this model has been around forever and it really gives you an idea of any sort of spin in the atmosphere with moisture and you can see this when it when it approached central america man it just got a really strong broad rotation here you can see it uh it's very impressive satellite here of the water um the euro here a tropical tidbit shows it very well we rewind uh rewind <laughs> here when julia made landfall in central america it actually got split up in two and it became a very broad low and part of our low ended up here now in the bay a little bit stayed in the Pacific. So it's pretty fascinating. Julia has popped into two systems. NHC's got this at 10% to reform. And of course, potentially for Carl here. And even the GF or a Euro here shows a, a movement back. This is the vorticity in the in the air. And it's it's pretty impressive, right? So like I said, high confidence we're gonna see this uh, frontal boundary. So that's what we got. Um, water temperatures, let's talk about things down the road. Uh, this is a great map on Bay News 9, local TV station here in Tampa Bay, Mike Clay, uh, friends with. But water temperature is still hovering in the upper 80s. So the tropics, don't don't think the season's over quite yet. We're down in the uh, mid-80s still down in the Caribbean. Ocean heat content, we talk a lot about this. This is the amount of fuel. This is uh, definitely very, 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 very hot waters in the Caribbean. So we're, you know, we're, we're, I just don't want everybody to think the season's over with. There's always... October is always, uh, you know, unfortunately, we can see stuff in the Caribbean. Nothing's showing up long range, which is good news right now. But uh, just showing you this ocean heat content is strong. Looking at the MJO, I pointed this out this morning on our Daily Brew. The MJO cycle we talked so much about. Man, we're going into an enhanced phase of this uh, MJO. And this is right down toward the end of the month. So we've had end of the month season storms before. Not saying we are, but the conditions are there that we could potentially could okay um the um turn that off there the other thing we're gonna you know this time of year we're watching this is surface charts a couple days from now you know we're still getting tropical waves rolling across uh the atlantic anytime any of these pass the lesser antilles you know we got a lot of dusty dry air still in the atlantic but you know these are the waves we watch uh we get a big dip in the cold front there's always that chance that one of these waves can come up so that's kind of where you focus this time of the year um as far as far as any future development but right now nothing's showing that's good news it's just this is where you kind of watch and these waves you can always see here long long uh on, on the uh, satellite imagery here, in, infrared satellite, 
you can see the current wave here entering the islands and then the second wave here so that's it but we'll keep an eye we'll see if we get sneaky little carl pop up um and uh like i said so far it looks like it's going to stay in the bay of campeche lower gulf um but i'll keep watching as always all right see you next time have a good day Bye bye